so order of magnitude as this. We have tried to do this. Find speeds infinitely different than enough for a rerun to be using the user. Hi, good evening, Karthik. Hi, good evening. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Very much. Okay. Thank you for joining the webinar. Okay. Actually, I'll be available after seven. So I have a small another meeting to 630 to 7. Okay. But I'll be available. Sure, sure. Thank you. We'll start in another couple of minutes. Uh. Oh, sure. Good evening. Am I audible? Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. We are out. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I'm seeing which screen. Get the screen. All right. Good evening, Ravana, Karthik. Good evening, sir. How are you? Yeah, doing fine, sir. Very good. How is the house construction? <laughs> Going on. <laughs> uh, which floor? Fifth floor? Fourth floor? No, yeah, all that uh, structure has been erected already. Superstructure has oh. been erected. Oh, so okay. Interior works are going on. Oh, okay, okay. That means yeah. we have seen you. We met long, long ago. <laughs> no, no, I think about uh, 
when we had the last webinar on that uh, ksrt uh, sorry tsrtc uh, no sir uh, ah. the ah, 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 yeah, yeah. that what is the month of uh, march i believe march or february ah, ah okay the okay yeah solution uh, web, web based application that what you, your team has developed correct 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 yeah i, I have yeah. attended that webinar yeah. ah, I think it was in March, I believe. I think so. <laughs> you know, time is flying fast, and we are <laughs> losing track of time. <laughs> uh, Good to connect with you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Karthik, you are part of our alumni, or? No, I'm not a part of alumni. Oh, okay, okay. You are XCAT? No. Uh, no, sir. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. Sir, I'll be available after seven because I have another meeting. Uh, no problem. Yeah. So no issues, no issues. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Ganesh Water Pilot. Is it Ganesh or Ganesh Assistant? Hello all, good evening. Welcome, welcome to the webinar. Welcome to uh, the Very good evening, everybody. Hi, Ratna. Hello, Srinath, okay. sir. How are you doing? Uh, we will start the webinar in another five minutes. Hello, Janik Raman, sir. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. 
So we'll we'll start in another uh, few minutes. Anumula. Uh, are you able to speak, madam? Hello, am I audible? Uh, yes, yes Karthik. Yes, yes. Shall we start in a minute? Uh, see, there is a uh, uh, there is a message that uh, some of them are not able to join. Which uh, somebody anybody has told you, sir? Yeah, no. He says uh, some outside the uh, our organization. Maybe I don't know. Maybe sir, sir, the usually issue with teams is they have to use either incognito mode because somebody if they're using organization means by default it will go through that it will not allow. So either you have to use incognito mode on a new browser and join as a web browser, not in the apps on the oh, Teams okay. app. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the people have to use um, you know uh, the phone, you know, the or another phone. laptop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because okay, they are issue, yeah. trying to connect from their organization's uh, laptop through the domain login. It will uh, have issues, is it? Absolutely, sir. Yeah. So if they're using their organization laptop, means they have to change, uh, you know, use a new browser as mm. incognito mode and then open it and paste this link. Okay. Okay. Ravani. Okay. We'll start, Ritna. Start, sir. Mm. Share my screen. Um. You're able to see my screen? Yeah, to come. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, good evening, all. So, thank you for uh, joining uh, uh, this uh, webinar on Microsoft uh, Planner Premium. Uh, so, many of you uh, would have known us for uh, uh, people who are joining us for the first time. Uh, we are a 360 degree uh, project management service provider. We are in the space of uh, people, process, and the technology. So we we uh, have uh, served multiple clients in terms of delivering uh, trainings, and also uh, we are widespread uh, in the consulting area also. So this is our journey for the last uh, 18 years now. So we have spent uh, in this niche area of uh, project uh, program and uh, portfolio. So these are our partners. So we are uh, partnered with uh, BMI and we are also a solution partner to Microsoft and we are partner with Prochain, DPG, Interware and PM4 NGOs. Uh, these are our training services. So around uh, Project Management uh, Institute, PMI certification, all that we provide. And also we are into uh, technology like uh, a Microsoft Project, Oracle Primavera P6 or uh, CCPM. So we are into the complete area of uh, uh, 
anything, any any of your uh, training requirements around uh, project management. So these are our uh, few of our clients whom we have served uh, in the journey of last 18 years. And yes, so today we are uh, here for a webinar on Microsoft Planner Premium. So this is a product launched newly by Microsoft. Uh, it is a merger between uh, a project for web and uh, planner. So this particular uh, product uh, gives you a capability to enhance your project management journey, whether it is for a small enterprise or it is a large enterprise. So this is something which is uh, going to give you a new scale to your to in terms of managing your project effectively and uh, you know in a more organized way. So some of the key features what we will be seeing uh, in this product are the real time collaboration grid board and yarn views, uh, the customization and the integration, advanced project management and the resource management. Uh, we are also excited to announce we have a one day full full day workshop on Microsoft Planner Premium. It is announced on uh, the 8th of June. So you can uh, give in your interest at the end of the workshop uh, in your feedback. So we will be uh, enrolling you on a first come first serve basis. Uh, yes, today we have uh, Mr. Srinivasan sir with us. So he is the founder director of ProVentures. So he will take us through uh, to the product. And we also have Mr. Vijay Prashant. So who will be taking us through to the tool. Uh, this webinar is a 1.5 PDU webinar. So you will have a feedback at the end of the training or end of the session. So any any kind of questions in between you can always ask. And yes, it can we can have this uh, session kind of interactive. So at the end of the uh, session, based on your feedback, we will give you this 1.5 PDS, which you can use it for your PMP renewal. All right. So with this, I will uh, hand over the session to Srinivasan sir to start uh, taking us through to Microsoft Planner for you. Over to you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Are you all able to see my screen? Yes. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, Ratna. And um, so uh, the agenda for this evening is something like this. Uh, uh, thanks, Ratna, for your uh, intro. Uh, about company and uh, other uh, things. And then I'll quickly uh, take you through uh, macro level features of this uh, new product. And then we'll have a, a kind of deep dive demo by Prashant on the planner premium. And uh, then how that planner premium is uh, encapsulated into a an enterprise application by uh, ProVentures uh, uh, with uh, all our past two decades of experience so that I will briefly navigate you through that. And then we will have uh, uh, a good time of uh, Q&A. Uh, it doesn't mean you don't need to ask the questions as you feel like. Uh, you can always uh, put it on the chat and uh, also uh, unmute and then ask if there are any questions. OK, that is how we will take this up. And uh, yeah, before I begin, uh, uh, anyone uh, uh, have any specific uh, expectations from this uh, uh, one hour plus uh, webinar? If you have something, uh, if, I, if we missed it in the agenda or in our intro talk, you can always uh, highlight uh, so that we cover it. I'll give uh, a pause for about 30, 40 seconds. Uh, anyone would like to uh, say anything? From the uh, in terms of expectations, I'm not sure this Ganesh uh, and all are you uh, virtually present or is it an AI assistant? Uh, if you. OK, no problem. Uh, in keeping an A assistant, but if you make it uh, clear, that will be good. 
yeah anybody else have any expectations uh, from this uh, short webinar yes sir just wanted to know what is this all about and how it can help us you know is it different from project or is it some similar to it or because i've heard it about heard about this first time so yeah thank you thank you suresh yeah sure we'll try to have a, a discussion around that how it is different etc anybody else uh, all right uh, i'll take it along it doesn't mean you can uh, you can always uh, stop and ask stop me and ask for it okay what is this uh, planner okay so the word planner as a small app uh, is quite familiar to some of you for a long time uh, but it was always uh, behind the screen uh, let me just give you a genesis of uh, microsoft project over the last uh, let's say three decades okay in early 90s uh, microsoft project especially 1995 version as at the standard desktop tool was very 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 popular uh, user friendly etc and then early 2000 to bring an enterprise flavor uh, they launched uh, uh, an enterprise project management epm as an on premises uh, solution with uh, three four servers plus microsoft project offered as a project professional uh, that used to be very very hectic or rather complex phase uh, customers were finding very very difficult to implement adapt uh, so it went through i would say a rough phase but still the microsoft project as a standalone tool was very uh, kind of a solid uh, like a rock product and then uh, around 10000 uh, sorry 2010 12 timelines uh, this has been introduced as a project online okay microsoft project online and uh, it was a roaring success uh, uh, because uh, there is no capital investment in terms of multiple servers, complex uh, uh, licensing pattern, etc. Uh, people can just uh, log in and then take a, a free project online subscription for a month and then start off. Okay, as an enterprise uh, project planning uh, tool. Okay, it was very very powerful and very popular, and uh, in almost millions of. Uh, users and lakhs of customers logged in it was an incredible success okay during uh, that uh, 2013 to early 2020s uh, but still the adoption as a comprehensive tool uh, it took time okay people are all jumped into it but when they want to okay uh, go deeper into the product they found difficulty uh, because it was working with uh, SharePoint as a collaboration platform and other uh, site components using SharePoint were not so user friendly and the workflow again very specific it was complex uh, so that is how the challenges were and it continued and then uh, during this period 2000 to 2020 is a major revolution in terms of uh, uh, companies uh, uh, embracing uh, hybrid methodologies predictive agile predictive plus agile as a hybrid and then from it it was invading into pharmaceutical construction and various other area so that time again uh, project online was uh, seen as uh, not so friendly okay you have to look for another tool to bring in agile components etc so that is when uh, microsoft introduced this new tool called project for web okay which was a recent uh, development the last uh, two years and then which was too good in terms of uh, embracing uh, uh, lean agile and uh, giving some good uh, reports in the form of radiators etc etc but uh, some of the customers were missing their uh, uh, gantt view dependencies etc etc 
So and then uh, very recently in the roadmap, in fact, uh, what we are talking about is just for the past, uh, I would say three, four to six months. OK, Microsoft announced that uh, that planner and the project for web will be merged and then they are going to uh, reintroduce it in the form of planner premium. OK, so that is what uh, we are launching uh, today's uh, uh, webinar. And uh, it is a journey. Uh, you will again see there are a lot of new things have come in. Uh, but still some of the legacy things may be missing, so which uh, probably you may figure it out. Uh, and one of the objective of this uh, session is also to seek feedback from you. OK, recently I attended one uh, startup secret uh, webinar where almost 70, 80 percent of the time he was talking about ask the user, ask the customer for anything and everything. So this is a, a small initiative from us. Uh, OK, placing it before you and asking for your feedback. OK, since we are into uh, PPM project program and portfolio management and also largely uh, stepped into customizing and product development, I uh, will be very happy to listen to you in terms of your feedback and uh, the other things. So, yeah, so if if uh, you are one ask from this webinar is uh, uh, an improved user experience. And uh, everyone everywhere talks about uh, uh, Gen AI. OK, is there any way uh, that is invading into our project planning tracking exercise? The answer is yes. So these two things uh, you will be able to see in today's uh, webinar. OK, so it is a lightweight, web based, cost effective with uh, uh, multiple methodologies uh, be, can be practiced through it and uh, with uh, AI uh, capability. OK, so it may not be very robust, comprehensive, but it evolves. OK, but you will see something which uh, uh, Prashant will take you through that. Yeah, so with these things, uh, let me just uh, take you through, uh, I would say, from a 10 to 20,000 feet high, uh, a bird's eye view about the product. And then later, we'll straight away get into the application and then start navigating through that. So this planner premium comes with uh, a set of uh, four or five templates for different industry domains. And then uh, uh, the task management, OK, which uh, you will see them, OK, in terms of uh, uh, the various uh, attributes, task and task attributes. And then resource assignment, especially team member assignment, and then uh, how we can optimize it. Uh, and then plus notifications and other stuff. So one thing you will notice that uh, uh, earlier it is only work breakdown structure and activities. So if someone wants to go into micro level, they have to drill down into activities that will add up to 5000, 6000 activities for a project. OK, so now which is also very tedious to track. So now they added a, a much awaited something called a checklist. So to a task, you can attach a checklist just to uh, not to really schedule it, but more as a, uh, a kind of uh, uh, these are all the prerequisites or uh, acceptance uh, criteria. All those things you can put it in the form of checklist. And uh, this is where OK, you see a contrast from different other products. Uh, if you want to be use it as a simple tracker at a team level, so you can use a grid view which you can define tasks and then uh, uh, due dates, assign people and uh, give importance, uh, coloring, all those things. But if you just translate the same thing into a resource centric or a, a Kanban centric or a WBS centric uh, boards, okay, or buckets, 
you can translate you don't need to redo it and then you can move on just i want to see it in a calendar view which you can see it in the form of an outlook calendar view and then if you want to see it in the form of a, a full blown gantt chart with proper dependencies summary task critical path etc all those four views can be seen okay with one baseline set of tasks uh, that will is possible with this new product now within the project for that team okay you can see uh, in terms of uh, resource based activity based uh, analytics and charts and radiators okay now these things are out of box features uh, uh, you can't add and all it just comes along with that along with the product and uh, the best part of uh, this is uh, seamless integration with uh, other microsoft family products okay in terms of uh, one drive uh, document management system outlook notifications approvals uh, and then uh, microsoft teams uh, all of them we don't really need to do anything it comes along with that one note okay there are so many collaboration features uh, uh, that comes along with the product uh, uh, especially with the the premium version and uh, with the premium it is compatible for a uh, lot of advanced features so that is where basically provenches have stepped in and then uh, built uh, uh, custom uh, reporting okay wherein you can have your own uh, kind of set of enterprise level project level program level uh, reports and dashboards through uh, power bi so that comes up with that along with the uh, planner premium and uh, that also you will see it uh, uh, in our uh, promise uh, uh, product uh, once again microsoft planner premium can be readily plugged into uh, the custom developed uh, applications enterprise apps uh, where you can bring in uh, life cycle in the form of workflows and uh, within that uh, other approval loops like uh, change control document approval all those things can be built in seamlessly okay with very little coding all those things can be automated i have already talked about uh, triggers uh, various types of triggers that are readily available and uh, yeah in terms of security uh, it's quite compatible and uh, compliance with respect to various uh, industry specific uh, regulation standards that comes along with that resource planning uh, in terms of capacity planning resource allocation utilization is again available with uh, uh, planner premium uh, that can be kind of further enhanced at the enterprise level we can create uh, enterprise resource pool and then from there we can build teams for a project level allocate and uh, all those things will roll up to overall uh, org level department level availability which can be used to optimize the utilization of the resources when we commit new projects and other things how do you choose the right plan uh, just a guideline more information we can give based on your questions uh, people who are with uh, microsoft uh, business basic uh, uh, you can go with uh, uh, the teams uh, for medium and bigger organizations uh, uh, when they have this e3 e5 licenses in fact uh, this planner premium comes along with that you don't need to invest anything more okay there are few more added advantages in terms of this compatibility and other licensing model uh, which we will speak after we go through the navigation so that it will help you so with these few insights uh, i will pass it on to prashant uh, prashant will take us through uh, the tool demo uh, which will help 
but uh, you will see it uh, just uh, moving on at a pace uh, uh, but i would advise you to join this uh, one day uh, hands on workshop wherein uh, as like uh, provinces uh, unique methodology uh, will pick up uh, a use case end to end project use case and then we will ask you to model the project and then run it in different modes so it will be the whole day okay a complete hands on uh, which uh, you will be able to freely participate and then get a strong grip on the overall product experience as prashant with this i will pass it on as he is switching uh, if there are any questions uh, i will be able to handle it yeah over to you prashant right so thank you so good evening all um i hope i'm audible all yeah. good audio ah, okay thank you so we all know that uh, planner is part of microsoft suite of products microsoft 365 and um, sorry give me a second uh yeah all right so uh planner is part of uh, microsoft 365 office suite it's one of the product which is available for free so if you look at the suite of products that we get as a part of microsoft 365 subscription we have planner as well so i just created one uh, quick plan i open the planner on the browser and then i tried creating this now those of us who have used planner earlier we are uh, we will not be able to see this view called schedule which they have added it it's more of a calendar view and uh, that is something that has been new that has been added now if you go into uh, details of uh, the planner on on the web uh, we can see that uh, it's predominantly it's more of a tasks kind of task management solution So if you look at the URL also, it's task.office.com. So uh, Microsoft's intention in creating this application called Planner is predominantly for task management, and it's a very lightweight version of keeping uh, progress on how we are moving forward. So now, over a period of time, when uh, we had uh, the agile uh, embracing uh, agile as a trend in the industry, Microsoft also kind of added that feature called Board, uh, where we can go and have this uh, agile way of delivering the projects now this is the overall backlog items that are in progress and these are completed tasks you can always go and have a look at it and you can go and see uh, change these buckets this is custom buckets what we have created you can always play around and play customize this kanban board the way we would like to have a look at it so that is uh, the the planner on the web but uh, go now as sinas and sir was speaking about how microsoft project evolved over a period of time now seeing the trend and uh, the lightweight the need for the lightweight project management application uh, when compared with the project online which is a robust heavy uh, loaded application they kind of um, uh, brought in a lightweight application built on power platform which is uh which is considered to be the future of microsoft technologies or microsoft uh, solutioning so that is something what we call it as power platform so taking that power platform as the base so microsoft started developing an application for project management called project for web so project for web is a simple lightweight project management application which runs on your browser and you can you can eventually access that application from anything anywhere uh, or or from any device so that is the intention of it now when they they try bringing that um project for for, for web then the, again as a part of the microsoft roadmap and future of uh, this thing why not we bring in Pl planner also into the into the platform so planner being a task management application so it Uh, aligns very much with the Microsoft roadmap for project for web so they kind of collaborated it and then tried to bring in together these two products so as a part of the transition now planner for premium uh, planner 
in Office 365 Suite. This is continued to be a free application that is available to all the users from Microsoft 365. Now they created a, an additional uh, license or an additional capability to the existing planner, which they're calling it as Planner for Premium. So Planner for Premium is an additional license which is costing us $10 per month per user, which gives us the capabilities beyond this. And the best part is the Planner for Premium is something which can be integrated seamlessly with the other Microsoft suite of products. For example, if you would want to see the Planner for Premium uh, uh, interface, then we will directly go and do it on our Teams interface rather than a browser or something. So it they created this planner for premium as a Teams app where you uh, can go and add that app in the organization. So that is fine. That is one uh, way of looking at it. And then the other thing is um, you can see the planner as an app. It loads inside the team window. So the Teams, uh, again, the roadmap for Teams uh, from Microsoft is Teams will be more of a container where you can go and create your uh, run multiple applications inside it. It's something like Microsoft's ERP system called Dynamics. So, so same same uh, roadmap is what they're following for this. Now, uh, this is the interface what we get as a part of our planner for premium. And now you can see uh, it starts with my day. This is one interesting uh, thing saying uh, it uh, based on the assignments that we have been assigned to on different projects, different tasks. So they directly go and pull it up and put what is that in store for you for today. So this will become very handy when we actually try doing it in our demo project, we didn't schedule anything, but yeah. So it not only automatically pulls up the tasks that you are assigned to in different projects, but also gives you a flexibility to go and create your tasks for the day. So directly go and type in the task and create it over there. Then this view tells us about all the tasks that we are assigned to on different projects. It's not only about um, what I've been assigned, but also what I have created. If you look at it, the private tasks, so these are all my private tasks, what I've created for myself to go and do it inside different projects. So uh, the, the tasks what we are creating doesn't necessarily need to belong to any project, but also can be tracked beyond away from the project operational activities as well. So all the tasks, when you look at it, you have a, a good list and you can directly go and open any task. And uh, as Simerson said, was saying one of the uh, feature key feature that has been missing in Project Online, what we see is the checklist where you can go and create an items where you can track whether all the items are completed or not in order to say that the project is completed or in order to say that the activity is completed or not. So you can keep on adding multiple uh, checklist items and then keep a track of it. So that is all part of it. Now, uh, this is the standard planner functionality. So now the planner premium where they're tried bringing in is creating your own plans. Of course, uh, the plans are there, but still uh, in, in the plan, there are different types of plan which are called the projects. So you can see, uh, you, can, you can have different projects. Um, these are all the planner plan, plans that you're seeing here, uh, premium webinar, ERP project, all that. And you can see a different uh, logo for that where, uh, um, as I see, as show my mouse pointer there, different logo, which indicates that it's a separate project. Now, how do we create this project? It's simple. So go and click on new plan, and then you can see this uh, window where you can create uh, the plans. So the basic and the premium. So this is where the difference comes. So basic plan with planner comes with uh, the two views, which you have already seen in the browser, which I've shown the board and the grid and charts. Of course, it is there. So this is uh, something, the view that you will get it when you use a basic version of Planner. But the difference comes when we use the premium version. So that is where uh, Microsoft has really a focusing on. And with $10 license, this uh, will be very helpful to manage uh, more simple to moderately complex projects. So I click on the premium plan and then I will say that uh, I'll just create one. Uh, project. And then uh, this is a place again, uh, the integration capabilities of Microsoft suite of products again comes into picture. So these groups are your AD groups or outlook groups what you create. 
you know so it's seamlessly integrated with the exchange online and all the groups that we have created there so they are seamlessly available you just pick up one from that and all the users are naturally added to it so this is the outlook related uh, uh, the features, the integration related features. So that is one thing. And then when we move forward, uh, as of now, I'm not adding any group. So I'll just go and create a plan. And that is where you go and kind of your plan gets added to it. Now, what it, uh, I did is now this this is how the blank plan looks like. And um, you can see the, the project related uh, details here. So this is. Um, Um, <clears throat> the the project related details go to the plan details and click on it, and there you can see that uh, that is opening the properties window where you can you can go and modify different things. The start date of the project, what is the percentage complete, which calendar template you would like to use. So these are all the things that are uh, available, which we can go in details at a later point of time, and you can delete the plan if it's not required so then comes the next part where uh, you can pin this to be available in the list of pinned projects so that you can seamlessly navigate or shift between the projects then comes the board which again we have seen that that is the kanban board which you can customize it you add buckets and for example if i go and create a group by sprint i'll be able to see which task belongs to which sprint and if I go and group by bucket and say that this is backlog in progress completed, then I can see which are the tasks that are in progress, which are the tasks that are completed. So that items I'll be able to see. So these level of customization are possible. So high priority task, low priority task, medium priority task. So you can create the buckets based on that. So even the Kanban board heads can be customized, which will help us to uh, really uh, customize it or use it the way we would like to. So then, uh, the, again, the planner for premium um, features comes into picture when you go into this additional things like timeline, people, goals, and assignments. So when I click on timeline, this is a Gantt chart view that I'm speaking about. So as Universal Set has given you an in introduction to it. So a proper schedule engine with all the relationships of precedence diagramming method, all four relationships are possible and leads and lags are being brought in now and uh, uh, <clears throat> you have a pictorial or visual representation of the project schedule in a Gantt chart format. So all that happens in the timeline here. So reporting wise, again, uh, these are very preliminary reports that are available as a part of charts tab here. And uh, that's not um, really much useful for our day-to-day -day activities, I would say, based on our experiences. But again, there's no limitation to it because this seamlessly integrates with the Power Platform and Power BI can pull in, pull up the data and build beautiful reports and dashboards as we'd like. Then comes uh, uh, the people, so the team management. And as I said, when you go and create a new group for the team uh, based on the exchange groups or the Active Directory groups that we create, so all the members of the group will naturally be added directly to the project. So you can go and pick up the members directly either in any of these views. So you can see assigned to here. I mean, I'm going to show you a plan which we are going to see that. But yeah, I'm just going to take you through the navigation part. So the assignments uh, again, when a, each individual team member when he's working on a task. So what are the assignments that he's working on and how that how many hours per day and what is the spread of the effort that is going by so that part you can see uh, in this now the additional uh, feature or additional uh, strength to the, the to the tool comes with this copilot part being embedded into it again uh, copilot for those of us who are not aware of it copilot is an artificial intelligence um, ai based engine a gpt engine built on chat gpt by microsoft integrated into m365 so you go and ask anything the two the the copilot has the capability of doing certain things and interacting with the planner uh, and do certain things for it so which we will have a quick demo on that as well so uh, planner premium webinar is the project what i've created but i already cloned this project um, and filled in with some data so it will make us uh, make our interaction more meaningful. So this is a plan that I've already created 
before uh, in advance so that we can uh, avoid the time to create and import the plans and all stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me, grid view, it shows the WBS structure with the tabular format of uh, the entire project plan with the duration, start dates, finish dates, and the dependencies here. So everything is in place. So when you go and create a, any task, you can go into the indications here. Now the I is the indicating indication symbol, which you can use it to, uh, yeah, yeah, which you can use it to go and uh, add more elements to it. So, so the start date, finish date, uh, which bucket it belongs to, which sprint you would like to add it to, and you can also have a set of custom fields. Uh, again, uh, these custom fields, unlike project online are limited only to the current plan. So every project has can have its own set of custom fields. We don't need to uh, really worry about what if I need something else for the other project. It's as simple as going and right clicking on a column header and creating a new custom field. So that happens seamlessly. So then the dependencies, the conversations where you can add it to a team's channel to a specific task. Every task can be added to a team channel. So that is again uh, closely integrated with the teams. And goals is also called as Viva goals by Microsoft. That is uh, a KPI, a KRA tracking application. So that is seamlessly integrated with it. So you create a goal and link it to the task. So it happens both ways, which we will see in a short while from now. So the same plan what we have created here. So if I uh, go into uh, the board view. So you'll be able to see uh, the same thing that I'm speaking about. So this group by progress uh, would not started or what is happening with that. Then go a uh, group by let's say buckets. So these are some of the buckets that we have created and kept. So these are uh, this is how you do it and you simply drag and drop the the activities from any of these uh, windows and you can you can seamlessly go and say that this is where we are standing in terms of performing these activities. So the boats and you can apply the respective filters. What are the tasks that are due for today? next week, next month, future date, specific date, which are tasks that are in progress. Uh, if you have any other priorities like high, medium, important, urgent based on that, you can create it. So, but uh, when, the, when you fill in the data for the, each project saying that this is my priority, so you can filter it out based on in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the board view and you can work and focus on that. So this will be a perfect uh, fit when we speak about a use case to use in a daily standup quickly when we have so 15 minutes stand up you pull it up filter it out and have a look at it and have a discussion for 10 15 minutes and close it so for that kind of use cases this will work very well so then i'll move into the the timeline which again gives us the gantt view of it so of the entire project so let me uh, scroll to the left and I will see. I can see my entire Gantt chart here. So uh, again, uh, you can move move a bit here and there and you can have a look at it in the timeline view. So timeline, also the Gantt chart is interactivity. Uh, you can interact with it so you can change the relationships. So select it from the point and change the relationships. All these things are possible. So um, this is another thing. And if you go to the filters in the Gantt chart and select show critical path, it will show us what are all the critical activities highlighted at the right. So this is another handy feature that comes uh, to find out which activities are duration critical and where our focus should be when it comes to execution of the activities. Again, the charts, I'm not going into details of it. As I said, they are preliminary charts that are available, which can also be filtered and these charts get updated with it. But uh, when it comes to application, yeah, to give a bird's eye view of what is happening in the project, it helps. But again, when you want a detailed report, it's always uh, recommended to go into the Power BI, export the data, build a data model and generate the reports there. That's how we'll look at it. Then comes the resource management part in this. So this is where you go and add uh, people to the tasks. So I'll go back to the grid and then I will say that I will assign resources here. Now, uh, let's say charter, I'm assigning Samuel. Um, and for feasibility, uh, let's say I'll assign Ratna. Um, yeah. 
for specification, I would say I will assign senior nursing sir. All right, so uh, when I assign these resources, automatically you will be able to see these uh, people part gets added up with the resources. And where are these resources coming from? Again, uh, when you share it and create it and link it to a group, automatically the all the people in that will be added to the to the project and made available for us to use. So uh, you can go and drag and drop. This is proper team plan of view, which is very effective. Again, you can go and directly create a direct task under that resource where you can uh, we can directly create a new task and assign it to them with one go or existing tasks. You can always go and add it into under the person. So the moment you go and put it uh, under the person. This is something which will go and you know, create the assignment for him. So when I click on the assignments, you can see Ratna is working on so and so task and she's working during this time for so many hours. So if you look at the time period here, so eight hours on 15th of June onwards and uh, yeah, these are all old uh, data, but yeah, so this is how you go and have a look at it. So this is again a perfect view for having a discussion with the team on who does what when and how, how much time that they're spending for each day. So this is again uh, for the quick team meeting, definitely, yeah. So you can have it weekly this week, you need to work so many hours, you can apply these and filter out these things and see that. Now, uh, moving forward, um, let us also go, and I mean, how Copilot can interact with it. Now, let us say, for example, I would like to click on Copilot and say that uh, add a task at the end with name benefit realization. And you see it's working on it and it's getting ready. And you can see it. I mean, again, it's built on ChatGPT, so you can talk with it. So, I, okay, I added a task name benefit realization, and that is a task that is there. So now go modify the task, go to go and create uh, everything. So you can also go on and say, okay, I'm going to the grid, and then now I would like to, uh, yeah, go and create the grid. So this is uh, something what it is. For example, I would like to say, um, uh, create a goal, for 10% revenue increase. So uh, it naturally goes and uh, create a goal and assign this task to a specific goal by so and so time. So if you go into the goals tab, you can see increase revenue by 10% by so and so time. And now for this particular task, I would like, I mean, for, for this particular goal, I would like to go and assign a task. Or you can go and click on connect task. You can see the list of all the tasks that we have created in the grid. So you go and pick it up. For example, specification um, is a first payment milestone, I would like to say. So then these are all the payment milestones I'm just saying and then connecting it. So you can see those tasks are there. And if these tasks are affected, so this goal is going to be affected. So measuring the KRA's individual performances and the overall performance of the organization. So this is something which will be um, helpful on that. All right, so now if you look at it, everything we are doing it in Teams. You link it with the Teams channel. From, for example, if I go into the Teams and then I will select Pex virtual, virtual Team and a Consulting tab, I will see there is a plan called Team Plan. This is a plan, planner project that I've created. So I'll have a grid and then I'll add it, add the planner there for the team management. So this again, this is a free version. Now, Planner app that runs inside the team, this is a Planner Premium that we can go and access it. So this has additional features and co-pilot support. <clears throat> and as you, uh, as we said, so ChatGPT is also moving forward into GPT 4.0 and the other versions. So co-pilot also keep in, uh, increasing. So one good thing with co-pilot is the number of use cases that we create when we are in Microsoft ecosystem, it's unlimited. So it can interact with your SharePoint, it can interact with your OneDrive, it can naturally do anything. So Copilot, once it is launched out for the other applications, we can see the power of it. So this is about uh, a quick view on uh, the planner. 
So what planner for plus sorry, what planner premium can do? So that is that is the thing. So any questions we can open the house or I can hand it over to Sino Asin, sir. I think we could. Thank you. Thank you, Prashant. Hi, welcome. Sir, you're on mute if you're talking to us. Uh -huh. See, yeah. uh, planner also can interact uh, uh, with, uh, for example, uh, OneDrive to store documents and then uh, OneNote uh, also uh, can be there. So uh, from where we do access that? Uh, again, uh, going back to our planner for web, uh, sorry, planner, uh, this thing. So if you see the additional things, the same project, you can access the one night files and the different SharePoint sites that can be connected yeah. to it. Outlook yeah. uh, groups, conversations in the teams. So everything you can connect it over here. Yeah, I think uh, just keep that uh, options open. Uh, I think others can also look at a few other things like uh, uh, you can copy and uh, create, uh, duplicate the plan, change it for repeatable projects. And as you would have seen in Project Professional, uh, we can export uh, the plan in terms of activities, uh, uh, timelines to Excel and then share it. Uh, and uh, we can even copy a link, a specific task, put it in uh, 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 even uh, a WhatsApp, and then that link will go to uh, them and they can click and then update it. I guess yeah, as long as they are in the same domain, if they have the access through Office 365. So that way uh, it actually gives access uh, through multiple applications. All right. Mm. Yeah, any questions uh, from anyone? Yeah, this is Karnik. Yes, Karthik. So I have a question. So what is the difference between the Microsoft Planner and uh, Jira dashboard? Uh, hopefully both are same, right? Or any specific uh, criteria is applicable to only for Planner? Uh, see, to answer to you, uh, as a family of products, all of them belong to the same family. Okay, only when it comes to, for example, collaboration, uh, integration and other capabilities uh, here the biggest advantage is everybody will have office product okay uh, so this goes as one at another product within the microsoft uh, office some for some organizations uh, without even any additional license cost if they have e3 or e5 uh, planner premium is available to them you just drag and drop and use it but when it comes to Jira, it is a separate uh, enterprise application. You have a licensing and then you need to integrate. Uh, so that I would say is a bigger advantage. Uh, and uh, again, if you go still further deep into it, um, in terms of uh, scheduling, uh, there could be some differences. Okay, so those are the things. Uh, but uh, from a, a simple uh, board, um task management uh, there are many many applications give the same set of features okay. uh, i would like to add uh, one point on that um zira uh yeah the one thing that i would like to add is the capability of zira to uh, connect or integrate with github and that ci the pipeline you know, CICD pipeline that is there. So that might be an additional edge uh, to that. See, uh, Jira is predominantly, I mean, the evolution of Jira happened from a ticket management system or into an agile project management system. So it's very specific to IT industry. And uh, uh, yeah, for development kind of projects, it works very well. So, but uh, planner and planner premium, this can practically be tailored and applied for any kind of project. Santosh, you have a question. Uh, yes, sir. 
uh, I uh, wanted to understand if this had any remote uh, reporting module or as such something that we could uh, extract reports directly out. Uh, or is it something that we'll have to uh, rely on other tools for reporting from planner? I don't no. think we spoke about anything on the reporting part. You have yeah. to export the data into Power BI and take the reports from Power BI. So the inbuilt reports that planner offers are there. But again, as I said, it's limited to these things what you see here. So again, when you say Power BI, I would have to export, then I would have to also build the report there. There are no templates as such, which could be completely we are, we are uh, like working, at the click, click of a button. Yeah. We, are, we are working on that. We are coming out with the standard report pack, which can be downloaded as an app and you can you can install it as an app. Okay. And how about the notifications? The notifications, uh, I'd just love to understand a little more on the notifications aspect. Yeah, so when a task is assigned, when a task is moved, so these kind of notifications can be configured straight out from the system. So custom notifications, we will configure it using Power Automate. Uh, okay. So so uh, this would be, uh, would I be right in saying uh, Planner would be an apt application where somebody wants to just track it on a daily basis on their devices? But the mm. moment you need to showcase it to the management or somebody yeah. uh, in terms of reporting, then we will have to rely on Power BI and Power Apps. Am I right? Yeah, it is all integrated together. So um, planner. No, example. Is, yeah. Uh, example, uh, Prashant. What my question would be? I would like to reiterate. In case I, as a project manager or a program manager, would like to showcase something something to the management. Hmm. Right, I'm using Planner. I don't think, at least from what we just discussed, I don't think I would be having enough data points to showcase to the management in terms of reports and stuff. These are, as you rightly said, these are very basic reports. Yeah, hmm. uh, right. yeah. Santosh, to answer to your question, actually, the next uh, 20 minutes, I'm going to show how this Planner is plugged into a, an enterprise app, how that hmm. gives the expanded capability at the organization level. Okay, okay. And sir, uh, would that require any uh, technical skill set from the program or project management team to really get that integration done, or is it something very intuitive to do the integration? No, no integration required. It is available as a one app to them. Mm -hmm. So there is not even an implementation effort. It is only get oriented and start using it. Oh, OK, then I would love to hold my questions until we look at that as well. Yeah, <laughs> OK, so, OK, yeah. I think there was one more question from uh, Ranjit. Is it still there unanswered? <laughs> Ranjit? Yes, I was a bit late to join <clears throat> due to the okay. some meeting. I left the meeting because I was uh, feeling some interesting. So I left the meeting, came outside okay. to join. <laughs> and uh, I, I would like to continue now. And uh, just uh, two, three statements. Okay, so that when I will continue, I can understand the what things are going on. Mm. Okay, because I was sorry for the late joining. And uh, my qu query was uh, first, uh, like uh, this premium planner is a uh, same integrated platform of my MS project plan three and plan five. Yes, answer your answer is uh, the answer is yes. If you are having even now. Uh, Plan one, which is the team member level plan, this planner is available. So that means okay. literally for everybody, it is available. So uh, if I have a plan three or plan five license or plan one license, this hmm. is the free of cost of level license version. Huh? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Second, second, because I haven't gone through the details, so I will see the recording later again, uh, and I will continue. So this will help me to making the Gantt chart also. Yes. What you are seeing is a Gantt chart. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the output of uh, <clears throat> this uh, module based uh, uh, integration, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, it is a standalone. I mean, it is a out of box feature that comes with Planner Premium. OK, so the Planner Premium is the part of the Plan 3 also. Yeah, or some additional Plan feature, 1 itself, uh, you will get Planner Premium. 
Okay, so means we have that planner premium. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. So uh, uh, you continue, and I would like to have a uh, some deep discussion separately with you for okay. the future on the quarter for yeah. uh, my location. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe uh, we can continue our discussion a uh, uh, little while later also. Uh, so how? uh now what you are seeing is uh, planner premium is encapsulated into an enterprise uh, app uh, we call this as uh, pex power promise okay uh, some of you would have attended uh, an earlier webinar exclusively on this but there are many and how that planner premium uh, seamlessly work with our uh, this uh, enterprise app is something we are going to look at it so praja prashant was talking about uh, uh, the planner is built on uh, microsoft power platform uh, dynamics crm planner all these are modern apps built on power platform and on the same platform which is a low code no code platform uh, futuristic from microsoft uh, we have built this uh, app uh, so you will see this uh, the same interface here on the left side uh, you will see uh, the different modules you will see a management center that contains portfolio program project and then above inception in terms of ideation and then resource center and then analytics and report center so the analytics and report center contains the power bi based dashboards and reports and the resource center contains uh, all the enterprise resources and the assignments and the management center contains projects programs and portfolios uh, i'll directly get into the project uh, so the project center what you see is here so all the enterprise projects that are uh, created comes here okay uh, so which you can see through different views for example if i move to a gantt view so the same setup projects in a, a timeline view okay can be seen here uh, uh, on this particular thing uh, so and then uh, we can basically um, create uh, basically an idea and ideas will be hundreds thousands and selected ideas by a panel through an approval mechanism can automatically brought into project and from the project center we can create new projects okay so and uh, as you create new project uh, we can basically choose what is the methodology that you want to follow in terms of life cycle okay that provision also have uh, since i need to do this in 10 15 minutes okay i'll pick up uh, one of the existing project uh, so you will see here uh, the life cycle of the project pre project in terms of uh, proposed and then project uh, generic life cycle initiating planning executing and then closure now as you move from pre project into the various other phases we you need to develop uh, multiple other components of uh, the project plan okay so you will see here in the initial uh, proposed stage you just bring in the high level okay this is going to be done by which business unit which portfolio which program uh, what is the status etc can be seen and then as you move to initiating basically you can fill a project charter based on the approval that we received internally or from the customer and then you can do a stakeholder identification and analysis and uh, then if it is an agile project basically you can create requirements and then uh, add uh, story points uh, and then prioritize as uh, the move so you can build a project scope statement and uh, like that you can move on if the project is part of a portfolio and program you can do a top down planning okay at the portfolio level for the whole year there could be some budget allocated from there you basically 
allocate into various other initiatives in terms of programs and projects. OK, a top down allocation and then from a bottom up, you can accumulate uh, the actual cost and see what is the forecast remaining budget. All those things can be seen. And when it comes to schedule, OK, this is where we basically connect the project into the planner premium. So you will see here for the project that we have created automatically. OK, it is assigned to the planner premium and you can see uh, the grid view here and then uh, board view here in terms of uh, them and the timeline view here. OK, so so you will see here for that project. Uh, what is the uh, uh, the Gantt view completed and not completed? And all that Prashant described are all available as it is. OK, without any changes or modifications. Which is integrated into a, an enterprise application and then it continues when you move into, uh, for example, other components of planning. Let's say a risk register. So this comes with uh, a comprehensive risk plan uh, in terms of uh, pre mitigation, post mitigation and uh, the heat map, uh, how you respond to risks and opportunities uh, here. And as it moves into execution, it creates uh, additional issue log, the change log and uh, creating baselines and comparing and calculating variances and then lessons learned decision log. Uh, all these things are uh, created and then moved out. Uh, in the same way program. Uh, so you have a program life cycle in terms of uh, program setup, uh, planning, delivery and closure. So within program delivery, you can basically open multiple projects. OK, so these are the sub projects within this program. Now each of these pro sub projects will be having its own life cycle and the other plan components and execution components. If you move to portfolio again, it has a life cycle. Uh, so that portfolio life cycle will have a definition, analysis and selection, execution and uh, evaluation, which will have a sub programs and projects and at the program level, portfolio level, specific financials uh, risks, etc. can be handled. So this is how we have encapsulated all of them. For all these things, there is a common resource pool and then the resource assignments. OK, the resource assignments can be OK uh, grouped, uh, for example, according to uh, the resource. If I drag and drop, OK, who does what and when? OK, that uh, slice and devices will be available to us. So all those things are seamlessly moved into uh, the reports and dashboard layer. OK, so you will see here uh, the ideation is brought into uh, the request and demands dashboard uh, in terms of uh, each idea. What is the prioritization score? What is the ROI and uh, strategic mapping, etc. can be done here. And a portfolio dashboard in terms of the various projects and programs. OK, according to uh, the different statuses uh, can be tracked here. And portfolio roadmap, OK, in terms of uh, uh, the various uh, OK projects and its uh, start and finish. And uh, in terms of the key statistics with the tool tip, you'll be able to identify. And what you see is a standard report pack, as Prashant told. Uh, this can be readily moved into, so you can slice it in terms of uh, specific departments, business units, programs, etc. And when it comes to specific uh, project dashboard, okay, so every project can be brought into the entire statistics about the project. Okay, the overall uh, key statistics and the overall health and the variances in terms of work, cost, and then risks active uh, that are managed, issues being tracked, outstanding, 
okay so everything can be done and then this can be switched okay according to the specific department and specific project okay can be used so you will see that uh, okay the entire uh, enterprise uh, initiatives are brought into a one platform and a project manager can just stay in that one view okay navigate across the life cycle you don't need to move to a different screen at all and again as we saw before uh, today's my work and uh, my tasks uh, that kind of views also are seamlessly available so if i see here my work so now this brings in across the multiple projects what are my deliverables my work the changes and the pending things that i need to attend okay so this can be accessed by the team member he don't need to go into specific project through a appropriate access and security control okay so this is the the overall perspective okay how the planner is uh, okay brought into the uh, promise okay which has the broader uh, picture now what you are seeing is a kind of a overall application uh, based on the organization's uh, specific uh, methodologies for example a company can have an infrastructure project they can have an it project they can have a r and d project uh, for each of such projects uh, basically that can be handled for example i'll just open it through idea so you will see something like uh, uh, on the top something as uh, process okay so here uh, process what you see on the top so here i can switch process okay from one methodology to another methodology so you will see a different life cycle accordingly different components will come and uh, to meet the specific vertical industry vertical perspective so this is a uh, uh, provinces uh, initiative and we worked in almost for the last 8 to 9 months on this product uh, which goes uh, seamlessly along with uh, microsoft roadmap but at the same time giving a enterprise perspective yeah uh, we'll open it uh, we have another 15 minutes uh, uh, for uh, specific questions and answers may i go ahead yeah go ahead ranjit okay so this is the what you are able to see the dashboard and everything this is the customized product made by the provinces right yes ranjit yeah uh, so this uh, dashboard and this is not being auto generated by giving the input we have to customize and make as per the our parts uh yeah what we do is uh, the standard packs will be available to any customer when they uh, when we configure to that customer uh, site over and above now this is based on the general industry practices and with uh, our experience with various clients okay you will see the typical uh, project uh, dashboard program dashboard portfolio dashboard issue dashboard etc uh, over and above any specific reports only we need to put additional efforts to do that yeah okay so this is the uh, this is nothing this is a by default in the system this is yeah. to be developed it is not to Thank be you. developed if you are if a, for example a customer accepts uh, hey what you are doing is fairly good enough to begin with or as the people adapts we will come up with some specific requirements and then those things can be uh, handled in the form of uh, tickets and enhancements okay sir thank you all right thank you yeah other questions uh, either on the planner premium or on the promise uh, okay will be able to answer uh,
sir any integration with uh, you know, existing on you know for example in an organization we have the ms project so, or maybe it could be a part of the enterprise license like ms office uh, yeah. is this plan also going to be free or is it going to be chargeable or how is it like you know or can we integrate this with ms project which is already purchased by an organization good question uh, if the organization is already having a project online in terms of yes. plan 1 plan 3 plan 5 okay now the planner is available for everybody all those people who are having licenses they don't need to pay anything extra that is number 1 answer number 2 if a company is having project professional or project standard now those plans uh, can be opened okay in planner premium okay but uh, there is a small caveat uh, things like uh, material resources equipment resources uh, all those things are not available in planner premium so those things will go off but in terms of the schedule okay with the dependencies and the overall okay will come as it is and uh, resource assignments i am not sure whether it will come or not but you can open microsoft project plan in planner uh, so that is your for your answer so your existing licenses will not get wasted as you move on you can continue to enjoy uh, developing plans and tracking with the existing licenses but also from an enterprise perspective you want to migrate into planner premium and into promise that can be done thank you sir thank you so much yeah other others uh, i see rajesh joining from egypt or some other rajesh mani okay hi sir hi sir i don't know yeah uh yeah you can continue to ask questions but in the meantime i'll just pass it on to uh ratna uh, for uh, feedback and other things ratna so sir i will Yes, Shivani. Shivani and Ratna, whoever is uh, want to take. So in the chat, uh, we have given the feedback form link. So can you all please submit your feedback so that we will process your uh, webinars and discussions. Yeah, that is the evidence for us. Uh, please uh, uh, submit your uh, uh, feedback, uh, and also you can uh, uh, specify. whether you are interested in taking up uh, the one full day workshop on planner premium uh, so that also you can specify so that we can reach out to you uh, which is planned for 8th june uh, next month yeah uh, shivani you should put one uh, scanner code and yeah, if sir, you share that will be easy for them yeah i will stop, stop i can stop sharing yes and it is so nice of you many of you have uh, signed up uh, uh, thank you very much we in fact intend to uh, continue this webinar series with uh, more topics uh, so most likely the next webinar topic uh, a different topic on enterprise risk management uh, so please uh, you can use the okay. opportunity so you can uh, scan this qr code uh, to submit the feedback can you all see my screen yes uh, uh, shivani okay. it has come up and uh, yeah those who are 
close to PMO and to decision making role uh, to senior management. Uh, uh, basically, if you want any org level demo, okay, or a thin seminar or workshop, uh, please reach out to uh, Ratna or Prashant. Uh, we will be happy to come to your organization and then uh, run a half a day program uh, among HODs, uh, PMO and other decision makers. Okay, so feel free. And we are also looking for uh, some early adopters uh, from uh, medium to large enterprises, even uh, small enterprises, uh, where uh, you can basically take our uh, uh, promise along with Planner Premium. Uh, if you're already having a Microsoft platform, it will be a, a seamless uh, upgrade. And then uh, we can talk about uh, some early adapter uh, um, program. Okay, with a jumpstart training your people and then with the reduced cost uh, and subscription levels. Janaki Raman, you are part of our alumni or you are from uh, first time you are attending? Sir, I'm a part of alumni, but uh, okay. this is the first time I'm attending the program. So the topic is very much interested. So all I'm right. doing some projects and all. I thought it may helpful for me. Very nice. So, uh, Very nice. I given a try to understand this uh, uh, Microsoft Planner. Okay. So I think it's a very useful session to me. Uh, to me. So very nice program, sir. Thank Actually. you very much. You work for which Thank company, Janaki? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm work for a flavors and fragrances industry. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm at, uh, uh, DGM in operations. Oh, uh, wonderful. So it's very uh, okay. useful at this thing. So in mainly fact, uh, I my core. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, so mainly our core is uh, I, I, I'm working in the core of flavor manufacturing and uh, inventory control. OK, OK. And I think uh, I am my one third of my experience is from operation. So sure. this will be pretty good in terms of uh, uh, the operation people. They want very, very light. Uh, uh, kind of uh, task management with the collaboration within the HOD, I mean, among the team members and all. So you can yes. try out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Very yes, good. sir. That's one you're, based at, uh, you're based at Hyderabad or? Uh, yeah, I'm based at Bangalore, sir. Oh, Bangalore. Okay. That's still yeah. fine. Uh, maybe you can talk to uh, uh, your peers and senior management. We can have one exclusive demo to you. I'll, I'll look it into the possibilities. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Rizwan, I remember you are part of one of our earlier program. Is it so, Rizwan? Uh, no, Srinivas, this is the first time I have joined you. Yeah. OK, OK, then it must be. Where do you work for, uh, Rizwan? Uh, it for Fujitsu. OK, OK. Thank you. So thanks uh, for participating. How did you get to know this program? Yeah, I was going with the PMI portal. So oh. I was going to, yeah, yeah. Very so nice. there I have seen yeah, for this uh, session enrollment. Oh, so okay. from there I have enrolled. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. You are okay. which, uh, which city? I'm from Hyderabad. OK, wonderful, OK. Yeah, we are based at Hyderabad only. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Sampath? Somnath, I'm sorry. Somnath Tiwari. Saman Tiwari, yeah. 
Okay. Arunthati, you are from where? Which company, madam? Hi, sir. Uh, I'm I'm in Germany now. Okay. So you had taught me when I was in Novartis, so I was qualified for this PMP back uh -huh. then in 2014 or 15 from you. Uh -huh. And then I moved to Germany as program project manager. So I have now portfolio management also under me um, wow. for the... Thanks, sir. So for so I'm working for the um, all the innovative uh, cancer molecule. Um, very nice, very yeah. nice. Thank you very much. In fact, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, consider program management or portfolio management uh, uh, as your next upgrade. It will I be have much done that, sir. With you, oh, when okay. I was back in Hyderabad, I have done the program management, but I did not write the exam. But exam. if you think I can still continue. Then I you can, can still definitely continue. Okay. Yeah, because now the program okay. management, uh, uh, they have come up with fifth edition, uh, which okay. is pretty good, simple, and uh, a lot of agile flavor and all into it. Uh, okay. So you can start the application process. And uh, if okay. you need any assistance, uh, now chat uh, GPT has come. You can ask for it uh, to write essays and all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then maybe it would be good if there is any orientation program or something. Yeah, that you we do like that. To, Every I quarter, uh, uh, we continue okay. to do that. And uh, okay. uh, you can take assistance. Uh, and okay. in fact, recently, no artists have come up with one RFQ uh, for a global uh, rollout through NIIT for uh, okay. these programs. We also uh, pitched for it. Uh, we should see how it comes up. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. Uh, all the best, sir. But then uh, if you are doing the orientation uh, for PGMP, then I would be interested and in maybe um, I would like to write the exam because we did that. I did the course. Uh -huh. with, uh, uh, I mean, I think it was in 2018 or 2017. Okay. I don't remember. But okay. then uh, because I moved to Germany and then COVID happened and then I never uh, could write the exam. Um, okay. So, but, okay. I would, I would yeah. take your assistance. Thank you. We'll I will send you the to... information. Okay. Sure. And sure. Uh, uh, otherwise also anytime you can write to us. Hmm? I'm in contact with Ratna. Maybe Ratna oh. has my number as well. So maybe um, it would be helpful if uh, uh, Ratna can also write to me already and, uh, and I can take it forward from there. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. And Thanks the classes the will be virtual, sir. How yeah, it is. It will be virtual, uh, Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Usually we do it in the second half of Saturday, so that uh, others yes, uh, of uh, yeah. Middle East, Europe can also participate. Yeah. Thank you. And that yeah. would be helpful for weekends. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All okay. Right, I will. Right. Then I will complete you. the exam. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Those who have uh, submitted. Uh, uh, so you can log off and uh, have a great weekend. And once again, thank you for your participation in this program. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you.